Hey there, it's Ben, the waterfall guy. So today I'm in the Garden of Eden area. It's kind of south of New Glasgow. And I'm gonna go for a little brook called Little River. And you know what, I've been on Little River, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. Um, followed up one of those uh, old maps from the 1890s uh, showing a waterfall on this river. And I do remember bushwhacking a whole lot and then getting to, I don't know, maybe a two or three foot fall and uh, following the brook a little bit. Maybe I had missed something. Never did find anything. Anyways, fast forward a few years and now with satellite imagery, I'm actually spotting some new features on this little river. And I think these might be the falls they were talking about. Um, one of the things about these old maps is that they show falls. They might not be super precise in where they are. I kind of look at the river, different bends and whatnot, and guesstimate where that is and go for it. I think that time I missed it and the topography doesn't really show anything either so I just thought there was nothing there but maybe today I'll be lucky. So far that's the only drops I've seen and it's a couple of three four footers I'm hoping by the next bend, that's where the waterfall will be. <coughs> if not, well, this is it. So nothing new so far, but I kind of was expecting this from the, um, the topo. They just didn't have a lot of contour lines, but those imagery really showed a long white streak. But as you can see that's what it is it's just a series of cascades that creates that effect so you think it's going to be a big fall but actually it's just a long rapid luckily it only took me about 15 minutes to get here so it's not a big loss it's still kind of nice and uh you know maybe six thumbs out out of ten Hey there, it's Ben, the waterfall guy. So right now I'm in the uh, Sunny Bray area, uh, south of New Glasgow. And I'm going for an unnamed brook. Uh, the unnamed brook would be the, basically like the stream coming out of Charlie Lake. The only thing I could find. Anyways, hopefully there's something there. Uh, kind of acting on a hunch on the topography. Uh, wish me luck Yeah, so unfortunately that was a bust um, You know came down a ravine and straight rock walls on either sides But just the river just kind of never has a fall on it Kind of too bad gorgeous little spot no falls, but you know better luck next time Hey there, it's Ben the waterfall guy. So today I've kind of been unlucky where I try for two different new waterfalls and both are kind of a bust. Fortunately, I'm in an area that's got a well-known fall. It's in my book, it's on Trail Peak. And I could stop by and actually have a look at a real fall before I have to head home. Here is a Glencoe Fall. Glencoe Fall, well, the name says it all, it's near Glencoe. Where is Glencoe? Well, Glencoe is kind of through the south of uh, New Glasgow. Uh, that old area with uh, Iron Rock and Sunny Bray, places like that. Um, to reach this fall, it's quite easy. Uh, there's a logging road, I think it's called Glencoe Road. You drive on it for less than a kilometer and there'll be 
some flagging tape on your right and it's actually an ATV trail leads you right to the lip of the ravine in order to get to the base I usually go to uh, the downstream end where there's a, like a knife's edge that you can follow all the way down to the stream and then I just walk up maybe a hundred feet back to the fall I'm standing right now kind of in the middle of the fall so you got the lower falls get a nice pool there nice pool there and then that upper fall uh, I would not trust the ropes you don't know who put them up uh, rather just go around take your time nice place for a soak for sure uh, lots of debris downstream these days uh, nice fall really close to the road only go after a big rain because it tends to go dry in the summertime. I'd give it uh, seven and a half thumbs up out of ten.